I've never had a quality street before, but there's a first time for everything. So, um, I'm not gonna lie. When making, when like I had the plan for this video, I thought there would be like six flavors of um, quality street, but um, apparently there's 11. Um, I've got my quality street. The quality, of course, will be judging throughout. And um, I've got my water. Uh, this is professional food tasting, essentially. Um, so let's, let's open up this bad boy. Ooh, okay. I'm actually really scared. Should I be scared? I probably shouldn't be scared. This will be fine. We're gonna go one by one through all the quality streets. So let's uh, dive in. First up, it's the classic. The milk choc block. Ah, I like my chocolate how I like my romantic partners. Square, don't wanna eat all of it because I'm scared I'm gonna literally be sick. How do you cut a piece of chocolate in half? With this, of course. Don't play with knives. Perfect. Um, eat up. So I'm really loving the chocolate on this one. I'd rate this four qualities out of a street. Good. Good chocolate. Um, part two. None of these look enticing. Um, this one's the green triangle. Ground hazelnuts in milk chocolate. That sounds terrifying. I don't taste any difference. That was, um, that was all right. Um, I'd give that about um, three qualities out of a street. It was, it was good. Good chocolate, decent chocolate. The word caramel keeps coming up on the box and that scares me because I had caramel once when I was five and it was horrible. So again, don't know why I'm doing this. This is um, the purple one. So off the bat, this one has a, not a great texture to it. I'm not liking the little lines here. They kind of um, make it chocolate feel a bit um, old and wrinkled. I like my grandparents old and wrinkled. I don't really like my chocolate like that. So already there's a bit of a crunch to it that I wasn't really expecting. So that's kind of caught me off guard. But we're going back in. I'll, t I'll take that. That was, that was fine. You know. That was like, I'd say again, three out of five um, qualities. This is a very in-depth rating scale. What's next? This is fun. I'm enjoying this. More caramel, more caramel, just anything that's not caramel. Orange. Sure, this is um, the orange creme. Off the bat, I'm absolutely loving the colour of this one. It's just a nice little beaut we've got going here. And I'm really excited for this, even though I have a history of disliking oranges. Yeah, my history wasn't wrong. Um, that was definitely a one out of five. Whoever invented oranges, um, if they could not, that would be really cool of them. Yeah, so definitely the best way of following that does seem like um, the chocolate caramel brownie. I have a history of disliking caramel, but God, this looks cool. I'm liking all the swirls. They really add to the flavor. Well, I don't know if they add to the flavor because I haven't had it yet, but they do look very cool. So I wasn't expecting um, the, the pull away. Is that, what, is that even a name? I have no idea, but that was good. You know what, just because of the sheer rise of something like that compared to the atrocity that was the orange, four out of five, that was a quality Street. The fudge, um, a classic chocolate. And I'm actually quite looking forward to this. Fudges are always nice. So how could they screw this one up? Quality street, let's go. Oh yeah, that's a fudge. Oh, that was, that's really nice. I'm feeling uh, um, 
It's got everything. I'm feeling a five out of five quality street for the fudge. Is this just another fudge? Okay, what if I just like pour them all out? This way I can't miss any. My collection expands. I quite like the sound of um, the strawberry delight. So that's what we'll do next. Before I descend back into hell, love strawberry yogurt. And I'm expecting this to essentially just be a strawberry yogurt. Oh, this one has a smell to it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's like the orange one, if it was good. That can get a three out of five. Um, decent. There's still so many. Is this the coconut eclair? It kind of looks like it. Like, is there any... Like, I mean, this is the coconut eclair. Like hell do I know what an eclair is. So this was a bit of a soft texture to it. Um, which is decent. So I wouldn't have that again. But I didn't dislike it. It was actually quite nice. And there was definitely some flavor. Let's go for two quality streets. I haven't had any toffee yet. I've never had toffee in my life. So this this is um, this is really exciting. This is a toffee finger that's about the size of my actual finger. Oh, this one looks nice. It's got like a chocolate finger texture look to it. It's quite like that. Well, that one's hard to get into. That's um, that's a difficult one. That was a finger. Um, two quality streets out of five. Oh my god, what is this? Everything, I hate everything about this toffee penny. Ooh, That's gross. The decent taste is outweighed by the horrible look of it. So, um, one out of five. And I'm actually gonna go back to the orange and give that a negative one out of five. That seems fair. Two left. Caramel swirl. The hardest part of these is literally just getting them open. Decent. Three out of five. Decent caramel. Decent swirl. Lovely look. Very, very nice. Final one. So I'm not really excited for this orange chocolate crunch. If I'm gonna be honest, this is, this is the climax of this whole video, is this orange chocolate crunch. I'm very scared right now. Everybody was kung fu fighting.